Na mtazamaji imekuwa takriban miaka miwili tangu janga la COVID-19 kuzuka humu nchini. Na mna kama ilivyo kwenye makabiliano vitani wamekuwepo watu ambao wamejitolea vilivyo kukabiliana na adui huyu asionekana. Kadhalika kuna wale ambao wamekuwa wakichangia kwenye makabiliano haya kwa kukusanya data, kuchanganua na kutangaza takwimu za maambukizi. Hii leo tunawaangazia wataalamu hao ambao wengi hawafahamu. This number I must say is going to rise. We have suspended learning in all our education institutions with immediate effect. The busiest time has been the month of March, April. Katika kituo cha epidemiolojia uundaji wa mfano na uchambuzi wa data sema kikundi kimoja kimekuwa kikijiza titi usiku na mchana tangu mwezi wa Machi mwaka wa 2020 kikichambua takwimu za COVID-19 likutoa mwelekeo wa taifa. Wanasayansi hawa wamekuwa kiungo muhimu katika kuipasha serikali ya habari za janga ambalo lilikuwa geni. <laughs> Profesa Dhumbi Mwangi ni mkurugenzi katika kituo cha Sema Chuo Kikuu cha Nairobi. Tuko na wanasayansi ambao wanahusika na data, ambao wanahusika na trends za, za magonjwa, tunaoita epidemiologist, pia tuna wale maafisa wa clinic ambao wanaona wagonjwa, tuna wale wanafanya computer science. The COVID data that we have now is tracking many things, so it's tracking the cases that are new cases that are coming to Kenya, and then we also have vaccination data. Um, both partially so one dose and then both doses utaratibu wa kukusanya data sio jambo rahisi ni kazi ambayo inahitaji ujuzi wa aina yake na zaidi kujitolea daktari mutono nyamai ni mwanasayansi katika kituo cha sema the data collection can come from various sources it can come either from the hospitals it can also come from data that's collected by other third parties for example with the way mobility data is being collected by Google where they collect it using the GPS enabled devices for example your phone that data can also be used and translated to a palatable format that can be used to make decisions so tunahusika na maneno ya kuangalia data uh, uh, kama zile namba za covid-19 ambazo tunapata kwa uh, izara ya afya uh, na hasa tunatumia uh, iyo data ku ku predict ubashiri ambao ulichochea serikali kubuni mikakati ya kukabiliana na janga la covid-19 kama vile kufunga shule kuweka kafiu na kuweka vikwazo vya usafiri kabla ya kuzinduliwa kwa kituo hicho serikali ilikuwa inategemea data kutoka mataifa ya nje kama vile Uchina we brought our teams together because we have as much as it's uh, myself as Shiko and uh, Thumbi and Lois we brought our teams together to be able to quickly work and and run uh, models and put infrastructure in place for a quick and agile process of churning out this data and answering questions that are coming around around uh, covid the very early days so for example should we close the country if you're going to close the country how big the country should be closed kuzuka kwa aina mpya ya virusi vya corona inayojulikana kama omicron kumewatia wengi hofu wakiwemo wataalamu na huku dunia ikiwa mbioni kukabiliana na aina hii mpya ya corona kuwepo kwa wanasayansi na watafiti kama profesa Dhumbi ambao wanafanya kazi nyuma ya pazia kuna wapa wa Kenya matumaini ya kupunguza athari za covid-19 Ben Kirui Runinga ya Citizen Nairobi